What's up, everybody? It's your boy Uchi and I'm um, back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? All right, guys, it's been a long time. Well, yeah, kind of has been. It's been a minute, and it's been definitely been a little bit since we've heard anything new regarding the upcoming Power Ranger Battle for the Grid. Now, y'all know that your boy is a huge Power Ranger fan, Super Sentai fan, Tokusatsu fan all around, and that I have been waiting, just like they say in the trailer of the first teaser that this is a game that Power Ranger fans have been waiting for for a very long time. And with that being said, I just wanted to get my thoughts and opinions and kind of get the conversation rolling here. Some speculation on what I think could potentially be what our roster could look like for the upcoming game and see where the DLC could pick up. Up after that so I'm gonna use something that I haven't even opened yet that I've had for a few months now since its release and I'm gonna use it as a visual guide so that way I can get this conversation moving and actually show you how cool this piece of material actually is so this really isn't supposed to be an unboxing but just to prove that I actually haven't opened it yet this is straight out of the Amazon warehouse and what I'm going to be using as a reference for this video is Ho oh, ho ho! The ultimate visual history of Power Rangers. Now, what better way to cross promote the brand, the franchise of Power Rangers, and this game than to use this amazing, well put together visual? Like, it's not a novel, but you know, it's like a Bible. It's a Power Ranger Bible, right? It's got all the facts and all the good stuff. And I'm going to be skimming through this just so that I can show you guys exactly what we can expect here. Now, of course. Ooh, man. Damn, this, this book is heavy duty as hell, I'm not gonna lie. And this is kind of an interesting way to reference my list that I'm going to review with you guys. But don't consider this a review of the book itself. But if you do want to see that, let me know in the comments. And we'll probably try and get something out like that a little bit later on in the future. I'm going to be referencing my phone. Wow, it actually matches the book pretty well. Huh. Did not plan that. So I have my list right here in front of me and so far we just to go over with you guys we do have a couple characters that are confirmed and one of them that hasn't been officially confirmed to be in the game but she's most likely going to be in the game based off the evidence that we have been presented with so first and foremost we got the green ranger aka tommy of course that's gonna have to be one of the first rangers they're obviously gonna have to reveal the red ranger from mighty morphin you're gonna have to have both of them in there because hello this is the power ranger game they've said it themselves they're trying to cater towards the hardcore fans first while trying to then get all the people from that time frame hit the nostalgia so that way they can get interested into the Power Ranger franchise again and then into this fighting game and then go from there and then take this opportunity to then introduce them to maybe Rangers that they have not seen before. With those facts in mind, I'm gonna be making this the most realistic list that I possibly can while implementing some of my own ideas and you know that way you, you guys can see where I'm kind of going with this and it is the most realistic that I can possibly be. This is not the fan service list okay because if it was I'd be having all the sixth rangers just off the bat there would be no one else but okay but besides the point let's get right back to it so of course we got the green ranger and the red ranger from mighty morphin we have the yellow ranger from mega force now the yellow ranger is is played by sierra hannah i don't remember all of the actors names but i do know sierra hannah being that she has been involved with a lot of the outside projects alongside jason david frank who reprised his role as tommy oliver the green white legend freaking ranger very often so i've seen her name a bunch of times follow her on instagram so she's really cool awesome yellow ranger by the way even though the series that she's in ain't the greatest i will have to admit and then to top it all off we got lord draken now lord draken for those that don't know okay y'all need to get with the comic books okay the comic books is probably one of the best written stories for anything that I've ha have read or been into in a very long time. And if you haven't checked it out, please go ahead, do yourself a favor, check out the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comic by Boom Studios. It is so good that if that story existed back then, I'm pretty sure Power Rangers would be more 
of a mainstream item in today's time period that we're in with you know full of pokemon and dragon balls all over the place now the fifth character that i mentioned earlier that i'm pretty sure is so kind of soft confirmed but not really has to do with the looking at the evidence of the pre-order bonuses with the digital deluxe edition so the digital deluxe edition is priced at 40 bucks so the standard edition is at 20 so if you pay twice as much you're going to be getting a bunch of extra added on features so of course with the with the digital collector edition you're going to be getting the digital game you're going to be getting the bonus Bonus, the pre-order bonus Green Ranger V2 skin, the season one pass that is confirmed to include three characters, the Lord Drake and Evo 2 skin, and the Pink Ranger skin. Now that's where I'm trying to stop y'all and look at that specific bit of detail right there. The Pink Ranger skin. Why are they including a skin and revealing that so early on with what they've revealed already and they're basically just gonna throw that out there without any other kind of pink ranger so with that in mind this is why i'm to believe that the fifth confirmed ranger for this game will actually be another character from the comic book series and that is the ranger slayer ranger slayer is basically a futuristic pink ranger i'm not trying to spoil it so go ahead just go go read the comments i'm giving you a reason okay i feel like they're gonna put ranger slayer in there and then they're gonna have the pink ranger skin act over the ranger slayer character as a whole and then of course that gives the roster at five so far three males two females pretty decent balance so far but we're gonna get into that with this the remaining 10 that i have to fill in this 15 slot roster that they have said is going to take place for battle of the grid and this is the part where i get to open the book yo this is godlike should have said more phenomenal shouldn't i <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. This is like a history book. This is literally the Bible. If you're ever gonna freaking go and take a class on Power Rangers, this is definitely gonna be the textbook for it, I, I have to admit. All right, here we go. So my first pick on who I believe will make it into the game as a playable character with keeping in mind that this is a fighting game between the Power Rangers and villains. And so far, they've already confirmed that Lord Draken being the first villain. I mean, arguably, you can say the Green Ranger's first villain, but we're not thinking of Tommy like that. We're thinking of Lord Draken here as the first villain. So we got to add more villains to the mix of things. So who better than my man Goldar? <laughs> Get the Rangers! You can't have a fighting game. You can't have a freaking Power Ranger game without Goldar in it, okay? I'm sorry, but not sorry. Goldar, one of the most prominent, remembered villains in Power Rangers history. Goldar has to be in the game. This book is amazing. I'm gonna get lost in this book. All right, so I just realized that when I made this list, I kind of have it going in, in, a, in a series order, AKA like Mighty Morphin, then you had Zeo, then you had Alien Rangers, and you, oh, well, actually you had Alien Rangers before Zeo, so beside the point, you get what I'm trying to say. So after Goldar, who would you expect to see in the game? If you're trying, if you're trying to fill the game with a, little, with a fair balance between Rangers and villains, hmm, well, how are you gonna have a game without the first big bad, AKA Lord Rita? Freaking Rita Repulsa, aka this was the, the the lady that freaking made the Green Ranger coin in the first place. Okay, she's the one that basically gave Tommy her powers. While we're at it, let's just go a couple pages behind us. How you gonna have a Power Ranger fighting game without Lord Zed himself? I mean, come on now, it's Lord Zed. Rita, get those. Rangers. Come on, like how you how you gonna how you gonna have a game without Laura Zed, Rita, and Goldar? I'm sorry. I know I'm very it might seem like I'm very Mighty Morphin Power Ranger biased, but this is where the list kinda stops and we go on still staying on track with being realistic to keeping the audience in mind being the nostalgia fans and the hardcore fans of the original series and then kind of evolving into showing off all the other ones we will go over that as we continue with this list so we have mighty morphin and then we had the alien rangers for a 10 episode little uh mini series and then what happened after that for those that remember we got Power Rangers Zio. Zio go Zio. E -e 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 -e. And specifically, I'm not saying the whole entire team, but I'm saying the Green Ranger Adam because Adam was such, in my opinion, was an iconic character. He came close with Tommy because look, he's he's one of the few Rangers out there that can say that he was multiple Rangers. He was three. Three freaking range. If you want to count in Jetty, four. All right. So my man Adam, 
And, and, and here's the thing. With these characters, now this is kind of an added bonus for the roster, okay? With this, you can even give... If you're going to introduce characters like Jason Lee Scott. Jason Lee Scott is on the website. You can see that. He is the Red Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. If you put in Adam, right? This can mean that they can get other slots for characters or just skins overall. So that, that he can access... His Turbo Green, his Mammoth Black, you know, Black Range from Mighty Morphin, because he was the second Black Range from Mighty Morphin, for those that don't know. That's kind of just an idea. I'm throwing that out there on the fly here, but there you go, Zeo Green. Oh, perfect. This is a perfect picture. Now, thinking of the history of Power Rangers, as a kid growing up, I always thought to myself, man, I want to be a Power Ranger because Power Rangers are freaking awesome. I get to kick butt, save the day, save people that are in need, and just do good for the community and the world. But then this character came out and as a child watching another child live the dream be the dream and just show us that you don't have to be an adult to be a power ranger why the hell will we skip on this opportunity to not include my man justin from turbo the first kid Blue Ranger, the first kid Power Ranger, okay? They probably took this idea from Japan when they did Die Ranger, because Die Ranger is actually where they got the White Ranger suit from. We never actually got Die Ranger. The White Ranger from Die Ranger was actually a kid, so for those that don't know, that's probably why if you're watching Mighty Morphin, you're like, why is Tommy acting like such a child in this scene? Because the footage is ripped from Die Ranger, and Die Ranger, they had a kid. So bam, Justin in freaking Power Ranger. How you gonna shift in the turbo? Come on now! Gotta have Justin in the game. Gotta have Justin in the game. Alright, now of course sticking to the theme of nostalgia because remember this is still within the Zordon era so we got one more to go. And we got my man Andros, okay? Andros, the Red Ranger from Power Rangers in Space. Now this dude got some cool hair. I loved his hairstyle from back in the day. I loved his story. Power Rangers in Space is actually known to be one of the best seasons of all time. Oh, KO35! That's where my man Andros is from. Okay, Andros was dope. He freaking led the team of the Turbo Rangers. He gave them all the morphers. He said, yo, you guys are gonna be up here with me? Well, then here you go. You're gonna have to freaking save some morphin' time in this way. Let's rock it! Three, three, five. You gotta have Andros in the freaking game. All right, now here's where we're gonna have a couple of ca uh, palette swaps. Because this would then count as the first. Alright, well sad to say, unfortunately, there's actually no picture of this character in this visual novel. That's sad to say. However, I'm gonna include a graphic of this guy. Because I feel like he was one of the coolest created rangers for Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. And I'm not sure how he was in Ginga Man in the counterpart series in the Super Sentai realm. But this guy belongs in the game he got a sword that turns into a gun as a child seeing that for like the first time ever because i'd never played final fantasy 8 literally seeing a gun blade in power rangers was so freaking awesome how are they gonna have a fighting game without my man magna defender okay he had his own theme song just like green ranger but magna defender hit came out with the It was epic when you when you heard that song and you heard him come on the screen, you know shit was about to get real, okay? Let's just be honest here, Magna Defender was that guy. Gotta put him in the game. Now again, going through my list and uh, trying to figure out what would be the most realistic list for a fighting game for uh, Power Rangers was very difficult because again, there's a lot of personal favorites of mine that I would have loved or would still love to see included in the game being, you know, realistic and not, can't, I can't just, it can't just be a fan service game for Uchi. I mean, like, it, huh. I mean, I will have some great picks for really good reasons, but I gotta be realistic. So, fortunately, we're skipping over Lightspeed Rescue. And as much as I would love to see the Titanium Ranger, I think that this person would actually make a better fit, especially filling in the female category. So that way, we're still keeping within balance, of course. But this girl was the leader of Time Force, okay? She was the leader of Time Force. Before they had a Red Ranger come in from the present, okay? For Wes. They were going to have Wes come in from the present, okay? She was commanding. Matter of fact, even when he was in the lead as the Red Ranger, she was still telling people what to do. We got to get the Pink Ranger 
from Time Force, okay? Right there, bam! She was the leader, okay? Don't don't listen to nobody. It, just because he was in the front of this, of this page don't mean nothing. She was the man. We're almost done here, by the way. All right, so we got to do a little skip, skip no jutsu over a couple of these series. And if those that know the order of the Power Rangers, you know I definitely skipped a good bunch of series just to get to this next guy. But I feel like this character would bit the appeal because his suit design was dirty, okay? He had a similar story backstory to Tommy Oliver you guys already know what I'm talking about we gotta go Dino Thunder power up ha I, I did that, is that how it went I forget it's been such a long time since I see Dino Thunder we gotta get my white ranger from Dino Thunder my man Trent okay the dude was evil at first he was evil at first just like Tommy was back in the day that's how they related but guess what of course at the end of it all he had to he had to overcome that and bam broke free the power then became his own okay white ranger from Dino Thunder gotta put him in the game and last but not least okay last but not least for the initial starting roster I feel like this person definitely fits the mold with having characters that were cool, aesthetically pleasing, godlike, bus ass, all right? You gotta have my man Doggy Kruger, all right? Not saying you put him in the game with, you know, looking like a dog like that, okay? But I'm saying put him in his Shadow Ranger outfit. I mean, look, he could probably just be in like that. That would be kind of cool if they did just put Doggy Kruger in there like that. But Shadow Ranger, nonetheless, probably one of the coolest Rangers that we've seen. This is probably like one of the first times that we've seen the Zordon type of figure in this series actually come out of the tube which there was no tube in SPD like come on now actually get on the battlefield and fight alongside the people that he was commanding and giving the orders to so that was kind of sick to see that in in a Power Ranger season and then now that I think about it I think that was like the because I don't I don't consider Tommy being the first one because come on like, we all knew they brought Tommy back for Dino Thunder because of ratings and they needed people to watch that damn show Doggy Kruger Shadow Ranger bam put him in the game now as far as the DLC is concerned I have to now now I'm not I'm I don't think this Ranger that I have on my list is actually on here but I'm gonna do a quick glimpse and see if they might have uh, oh well, well hold up. they might Let's see if they they possibly added them in there nope they did not so this is gonna have to resort to a graphic here on the video itself but this is a Ranger that was included in the Kyoryuger series aka the counterpart to Dino Charge, and this is a character that I want to say was also within the movie. I don't think it was an official character within the actual series, much like it was for Dino Charge and Dino Supercharge. But the character is now being used in the comics, and I'm pretty sure, well, I haven't read it yet, so I don't know if this would count as a villain or as a ranger, but it might be both. This is the Dark Ranger. Now, this would fulfill, this would have another blue. It would be another blue. So we got Turbo Blue already in the game, as if, if my prediction is right, my speculation is right, and we'll have another blue ranger yet again. So here we go next how are we not gonna fill up more villains in the game we gotta go all the way back to power rangers in space and hook it up with my girl astronomer all right so this is the bad picture of her this is when she had like the weird wig on which i wasn't a fan of but look we all remember astronomer for the freaking nice sexy purple faded hair in her jaw long as hell she had the makeup on sparkles on her face and she whoop ass okay you gotta have astronomer in the game you have really to Repulsa, and you have Lord Zed, you got Goldar, you gotta have Astronema. And again, that would be a cool skin to have over Astronema because guess what? She does become the Pink Ranger in Lost Galaxy, for those that don't know. There you go, the possibilities are endless here. And possibly, last but not least, for the DLC is confirmed, we have to then, again, think about the current generation of fans trying to, you know, because again, we're trying to grasp the attention of all the nostalgia like I've been saying in this entire video, while at, at the same time, attract some of the newer audience that some of the kids nowadays are watching the, the garbage on Nickelodeon. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Did I say garbage on Nickelodeon? I am so sorry. The Red Ranger from Samurai. Now, why am I saying this? Because the Red Ranger from Samurai was actually not even just a dude. It was actually a girl, too. Because in the story of Samurai, for if my uh, memory serves me correctly, the Red Ranger was actually the brother of the real Red Ranger, who was a female. So his sister was the true Red Ranger. And I'm pretty sure they kept that theme. And I'm looking for the picture right now. And I'm, sh I'm I would hope hope that they wow they don't even have this girl in the book how are you gonna do that what okay okay there's a small picture here very 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 small picture right here hold on 
right there you see her yeah she's right there so in as far as the lore of power rangers the history of power rangers i'm pretty sure this is the first series to see an actual red ranger female we've seen other lead female rangers in the past uh one notably being like i said the pink ranger from time force and then another being the white aquation ranger she was from aquatar and she led um the aquation rangers from you know aquatar when they came during that little alien ranger 10 episode john when they were trying to become the zeo rangers with the zeo crystals and they were kids it was a mess if you if you remember what i'm talking about but we have seen it in the past so this wouldn't be the first time and it, it will be really cool to see that in the game because we already on my list we're going to reference my list we already have the one already confirmed red ranger i threw in the red ranger from space this would make it three red rangers and the way i'm looking at it is okay you have the red ranger iconic the first one everyone knows that when you think about it visually the red ranger from space fifth anniversary ranger power ranger in space was one of the best seasons of all time and then red ranger from samurai this was when saban reclaimed power rangers and it was on nickelodeon and they had samurai so bam why not and then throw it in with the female skin or the female whatever it doesn't matter if it's a female at base i don't care just put her in the game because i feel like it is deserving on so many different levels that about wraps it up from me i know i went on for a, quite some time but you know you guys definitely can tell by now i hope the passion and excitement that i have been having my whole life for this all right i've been a power ranger fan since like birth i feel like and i've been waiting for a fighting game a legitimate power ranger fighting game since then i don't count the super nintendo one because i never had it i i that's just me sucking out life i guess but as far as honorable mentions go this list this is a list that's kind of like on the side i'm just throwing that out there for those that possibly would like to see others in the future because dlc is definitely up in the air for the future of this battle for the grid game i got on my list diva tox she was the turbo villain the red rangers for wild force that was the 10th anniversary so that's the season where forever red comes from now come on like you can't not have like anniversary special rangers and if you're gonna do the 15th anniversary then you better take adam black ranger from overdrive because overdrive as a series was well, until the end alpha 5 ay, 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 ay. Hi, yo how hilarious would it be to have alpha as a playable character in the game let's just think about this the blue centurion ninjor vector i think his name was vector from he's another space villain he was the green dude red ranger from beast morphers the gold ranger from dino charge so those last two there i just threw in that list is obviously to appeal to the newest generation and i would i it would be hard to have a new power ranger fighting game without showing off the newest team the newest rangers from the latest season of power rangers that at the time of this recording uh they haven't aired the new episodes yet but beast morphers is the next one upcoming and it is it will be adapting off of super sentai the gold buster tokame sentai gold busters okay so if you want to check out beast morphers might be like go check out gold busters but i will say it is a rough watch at first but it does kind of pick up a way late into the series okay now aside from that there's plenty more rangers that i would love to to see in this game villains as well actually but i gotta be realistic with y'all i don't know how much they're actually gonna put in the game out after the first initial roster and dlc i'm hoping that the game gets over really well with the fans and every other person that considers even picking this game up is gonna be at launch $20 $19.99 with the deluxe collector's edition being $39.99 at $40 and you're gonna get season pass you're gonna get the lord drake and evo 2 skin you get to get the pink ranger skin and of course the digital download itself with the three characters and the green ranger v2 skin over uh tommy so all that good stuff i hope my list kind of made some relevant sense to you guys and if if i and if it didn't please let me know but be nice let me know in the comments who you would like to see if you agree with my list or if there is any other rangers that you feel would fit in this game and again i'm hoping that the team over at uh nway games and everyone behind battle for the grid sees this video and can understand the passion and the excitement that I have for this game. Guys, it's been real. It's been your boy Uchi. You can go ahead and follow me, support. All the links are in the description below. Go ahead and check those out. You guys know the drill. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. May the power protect you. And I'll see y'all next time. Man, this book is thick.